We're riding this uh, Tiger and got a clunking noise. I know that the chain and sprockets aren't in the you know at best of shape, but upon the test ride, and especially with putting a passenger on, it really got a loud clunking noise. You have to stop and check this stuff and see what's going on. So I pulled the uh, sprocket cover off here and check this out. And interesting enough, I know that I've had this problem before, and I know that this customer has uh, told me that he tightened this up before, so I really need to take a look at this and see what the problem is. Is it not being torqued to spec? Is there damage on the splines? It needs something, but this needs fixed. That's where my clunking noise is coming from, so I'm going to check it out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put this back together. A couple points I want to make. I greased the splines. That's super important. They're really dry. And the thing you got to think about is you have the acceleration, deacceleration forces accelerating when you give it gas, hitting the brake. In that sprocket, you know, the transmission is trying to basically rip itself out of those splines when you think about it. So it's the other reason that we need to really torque this is that we're putting a good tight fit on that, preventing that back and forth. And we definitely don't want to hurt those splines. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bend the wash over right now. I looked up the torque spec on this. It was 132 newton meters, which equaled out to about 97 foot pounds due to the diameter of this shaft and the materials. That makes sense. So the fact that I could take it off by hand, it was supposed to be torqued about 100 foot pounds. She was loose. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just bend over one of these tabs here. And what I want to try and do is just bend it over slightly. The only point of this washer is for the nut to not fall off. If I smash it down, it's going to make it hard for me to get it off in uh, in the future. So let's see what's going to be my my best bet here. Watch what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave myself a place for the next time that I could come in here and remove it. Don't flatten this whole thing over to where it's, you know, just completely you know, unremovable. So that's the way I like to do it, access it for the future. I'm gonna go test ride the bike now and see if my noise goes away. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.